guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today I'm going to be doing my Jingle Bellathon TBR. In case you missed it, I will link the announcement video for Jingle Bellathon, which is my holiday winter themed readathon, up in the cards for you guys, as well as down below in the description. This readathon is going to be running November 25th through December 8th, so a full two weeks. We're starting a little bit early with the week of Thanksgiving, so hopefully for some of you that have extra time off, that'll give you some more reading time. We will see how it goes over here. This is my last readathon of the year. It is the most chill, relaxed, casual. We do still have reading challenges, physical challenges, and photo challenges. As usual, you can pick and choose whatever you want to do. You don't have to do everything. But today I'm going to be talking about my TBR based off the reading challenges. Challenge number one is a winter mystery or thriller will work as well. I'm a little sad because I only own two of the books I'm going to be talking about today. One of them is on its way, but it's not here yet. And another one I had to pick because the reading challenge was a little bit harder than I meant it to be. But for this challenge, I'm choosing Snow Drowned by Jennifer D. Lyle. I'm not sure if this is young adult or adult. This one leans more winter than it does holiday and Christmas. This is a new 2024 release and it sounds amazing. There's a saying on Fall Island, if you're not careful the snow will get you. Gracie Hutchison has lived on Fall Island her whole life and knows there's something true to those words. Fall's snowstorms have a spooky way of claiming people, making them disappear without a trace or driving them mad. Now with a hundred year old storm approaching, most of Fall's residents have fled to the mainland, but not Gracie. She is left behind with her physician father and she braces for the landfall. So we have like a spooky snowstorm situation. And it seems like there might be some magical or elemental elements as well, which sounds exactly what I want. And I feel like this will be a good one to kind of break up the really cute, cozy, cheesy books that I have planned as well. So very excited for this one. For this challenge, I recently uploaded a winter mystery thriller recommendation video. So be sure and check that out if you guys want some more ideas. Next up is Presents on the Cover. For that one, I have chosen Talk Santa to Me by Linda Urban. This is one that I picked up last year, but will be in this year cozy Christmas haul. This is a adorable rom-com YA release. So in this one we're following Frankincense, call her Francie, Wood, and she was born in a stable, an indoor-outdoor stable from her family's holiday shop in Santa School, which is also where she spent most of her Christmas loving life. Francie knows which adhesive works best on yak hair Santa beard, where to get an XXXL extra wide patent leather belts, and how to say Merry Christmas in 16 different languages. What she doesn't know is how to recover from the world's worst First, first kiss. How to stay friends while her best pal goes to a different school, or how to keep believing in Christmas miracles after the loss of the best Santa ever, her beloved Grandpa Chris. Okay, so I was thinking this was like a YA contemporary, but now I'm thinking it might actually have like some magic, like she might actually be Santa's child, which I am totally down for. So we're gonna have to see. It sounds super cute. Of course, we've got some cute presents on the cover as well as the back. I'm really pumped for it. The next reading challenge is a book adaptation. This coincides with the physical reading challenge, Watch a Book Adaptation. I made this because there are so many holiday books that have been made into movies and shows, and I didn't realize that I had read and watched almost all of them. I have two options. I think I'm gonna try to do both. One is kind of out of left field, but I'm gonna try to do Samantha's Surprise. This is a bind up of Samantha's story collection from the American Girl series. I grew up with American Girls. I absolutely love these stories. I learned a lot of history from them and each one has a doll and each doll has six different stories. I'm not sure if they keep doing that with the new stuff, but in my day that's what they did and the third story for every doll was The Christmas Tale. So we're going to do Samantha's Surprise and this is just a story about friendship and the holidays. This is set in I think early early 1900s. I absolutely loved it. I was obsessed with it. I have Samantha and I have her little doll as well. They just have such magical vibes but also like goodness to them. Like there's always somebody helping somebody. You know that she like hand makes some of the presents in here. These kind of shaped my childhood. So I think I'm gonna read this again because I haven't and I never watched the movie that came out many many years later. I'm sure it's ridiculous and cheesy but this is one option. And then I'm gonna also try to get to The Christmas Train by David Baldacci. I have a copy of this coming from the library. This is another older book. It's like from 2001, but there is a Christmas movie. I want to say it's like Hallmark or Lifetime. I wanted to watch it last year and I didn't know that it was a book. So in this one we have delusional journalist Tom Langdon and he must get from Washington DC to LA in time for Christmas. Forced to travel by train, he begins a journey, rude awakenings, thrilling adventures, and holiday magic. It sounds really magical. I know there's some kind of romance in here. The movie has Dermot Mulroney, who I love, Kimberly Williams Paisley, and Joan Cusack, and 
and Danny Glover. So it seems we've got some really good actors in here, so I hope I really enjoy it. So we're going to read that, and then we're going to watch the movie and have a great time. For this reading challenge, I do have a book to movie recommendation video, as well as like a short little reel on Instagram that'll give you options for different types of adaptations. So make sure you check out that as well. It will be linked down below. Challenge number four is a super easy one to read a book with Christmas in the title. I will probably read several books that have Christmas in the title, but I have chosen Once Upon a Christmas Past by Lori Langdon. I follow Lori Langdon on Instagram. She does the Dune series, which I keep meaning to read every year. I really want to get to it. And then she does some Disney retellings and villains retellings as well. And this one is a loose retelling or like prequel to A Christmas Carol. I saw it because she posted about it. She has this beautiful hardcover special edition edition with like snowflakes on the edges. I pre-ordered it last minute, but it's not going to be in for like a few days. I should have it in time for the readathon. This one does not have an audio, so I'll be physically reading it. I'm not sure if this is young adult or adult. Have you ever wondered what happened to the Cratchit family after a Christmas carol? The Cratchit family has come a long way since Ebenezer Scrooge's glorious transformation many Christmases past. None more so than Lucy Ann Raven Cratchit. Inspired by Tiny Tim's childhood illness and miraculous recovery, Raven has been working to become London's first female physician, donating her time to those who cannot afford medical care. Britt Crane grew up fighting for his life in the slums of London, protecting his ragtag gang of orphan thieves until Olivia Twist Brownlow and Jack the Artful Dodger McCarran rescued them all and Britt becomes a teacher in their new orphanage. So this is a callback to her other books because she also has Olivia Twist. She may have another retelling as well, so hopefully won't spoil that too much. And Britt discovers he is the rightful Earl of Wexford and stands to inherit a fortune if he marries by Christmas. So this sounds like we've got like an arranged marriage, maybe enemies to lovers kind of romance and very Christmassy. It's looking like it's a, not really a sequel to Christmas Carol, but like following the family like long after the events. So that sounds really fun. It sounds super magical. It's supposed to be really pretty. This will be in my cozy like Christmas December book haul. So stay tuned for that. But I am so excited for this. It just came out like a couple weeks ago. All right. And then the last reading challenge is a wrapped book. So I talk about this briefly in the announcement video, but I think how I'm going to go about it is I'm going to wrap several of my holiday books. I thought about even wrapping some of my regular books and just putting a post-it note on it of titles of different books that I would like to read during the holiday season that I don't own at this time. I'm going to wrap like probably at least 10 and then I'm going to have Jeff pick out maybe three of them to give me and those are the ones that I'm going to read for the readathon. At least one because that's the challenge is to read one. You can get books from the library to do this. You could have someone do something digitally for you. You could open a present, like anything, but I want it to kind of be a surprise. So I'm going to open whichever book I'm going to read during the readathon vlog because I'll be vlogging the two weeks of the readathon. I think maybe I'll do at least two. So I'll have one for each week and it will be a surprise. I'm going to try to do this right away so that I avoid spoiling myself because I know my books really well and I don't want to know which one he's picked. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well, but whatever he decides, I'm going to read. Hopefully this is like a fun challenge. You guys can skip it if you want to. I will be hopefully reading more books than the ones I've mentioned here, but I always like to share the ones that I pick specifically for. I've got a ton of audiobooks checked out. I always check them out the week before the readathon because you can get them for 21 days. This is a really crazy busy time for us with lots of like events and birthdays and Christmas gift giving and all that kind of stuff. So I do mostly audios as per usual. So hopefully I can get a good amount in because I haven't read a Christmas book yet this year. And I usually like to do a couple in November really excited for so many of them. There's so many fun ones that have come out and so many good ones that I have gotten recently and ones I've had for a while. You can combine all the reading challenges if you want to. You don't have to read five individual books. You can do one with presents on the cover. That's a winter mystery that somebody's wrapped for you. However you want to do it, you can skip them if you don't want to do it that way. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at the Bright Side Girl because I will be posting on there for the photo challenges, sharing anybody's photo challenges that participate, sharing different like fun things things in my stories as well, like holiday activities, different things. I'm going to be doing crafts and all kinds of fun stuff that I'll be talking about in my stories as well as my reading vlog. And it's just a good way to like make friends and kind of get in the spirit. So make sure you're following along on there as well. There are physical challenges for the readathon that I've also talked about in the announcement video. I will link the graphics folder where you can download the graphics to use for your Instagram if you want to participate that way or just to have them in your house. I saw some people printing them, putting them in their like book journals, which makes
makes me feel like so honored. I have a Jingle Bellathon music playlist with some cozy fun Christmas tunes just to listen to in between reading. I have a couple different holiday ambiances that you can put on in your background while you are physically reading to set the mood. The goal of the readathon as usual is just to have fun and to get in the festive spirit so as long as you do that you've participated and you have done a great job and anything extra is just a bonus. All of the links for everything that you need are down below in the description so don't forget to check that out. And yeah I think that is everything you guys need to know. We're gonna get started in just about a week. I'm really really pumped. Let me know if you are participating. Let me know what your TBR is gonna be. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a few more holiday videos coming your way and I'll see you guys next time on the bright side. Oh,